Alright guys, so here's my carbon core hex and I'm pretty much trying to see how much payload I can carry. Uh, I'm not really sure. I have a 10 pound weight underneath uh, the battery so you can see it over there. But I'm going to try to fly it up and uh, let's see how it goes. I'll be flying in uh, Eddy mode. I won't take it up so high because I'm at home right now. So, you know, just in case uh, something does happen, you know, I'll be uh, below the fence line over here. Waiting for... There we go. It flies. Not bad. Still have enough power too. Don't want to take it any higher than this because uh, just in case you know something does happen, I'm at home. I don't want to flower the fence and uh, hit a house or anything like that. I could do a punch out. It's a lot louder than it was before with the extra weight, but you can see it flies. Hands off right now. So that's pretty cool. Put it in a. Try to do something Gotta remember, don't go below half stick when you're in eddy mode. Because it kind of cuts the power off a little bit. <laughs> there you go. 50% for uh, altitude lock. Pretty cool, it flies. So I have my gains at 200% and with the 10 pound weight I can tell the gains need to be a little bit lower because it is kind of moving a lot. And I'm pretty sure these uh, RC timer props are kind of flexing a little bit too. So I'll probably end up switching propellers because uh, these props are kind of flexing and just by the sound it's making right now from what I hear, it sounds like the props are being flexed. It's just getting louder and it kind of has that wash sound to it. got my GoPro on there. I was recording earlier trying to test to see if there's any vibrations or not. So yeah, that's a quick demonstration. Uh, so you guys, you know, how it is, how, how this uh, motors and frame can handle a 10 pound weight. Alright, put, put it in uh, GPS lock. Alright, GPS lock right there. I didn't calibrate my compass or the uh, GPS when I mounted the GoPro right in front of the GPS. So I think that's affecting the, the way that the GPS holds right now at the moment. Hands off. Been flying for about 5 minutes with the 10 pound weight. Still hands off. You can see it does drift off a little bit, but once again, I'm uh, in front of my house, so maybe that house is blocking some GPS signals, and I'm not that high. And also, I mounted the GoPro once again in front of the GPS, so that could be affecting it a little bit. But you can see, this frame is rock solid. Look how sturdy it is. It handles the weight with no problem. All right, take off the GPS. Alright, my timer or the red light's going off, that means my uh, low voltage kicked in. Uh, actually, I increased my uh, sensor, I think, to 24 volts, so when it picks up, you know, if it's under 24 volts, it will uh, blink, and that's letting me know that the, that the uh, battery calibration is actually working. So let me give you guys a closer look at the battery, or at the weight. So, uh, let me put the camera down real quick. I mean, let me unplug the battery because I like to, I always like to unplug the battery when I am, uh, you know, touching the model. But you can see, got a 10 pound weight. Oh, actually, let me try to find a way because it's, it's very heavy to pick up with one hand. I'm pretty weak. So, <laughs> all right, it's Velcro pretty good in there. They don't want the weight to fall off. So, here we go. All right. 10 pound weight you can see I got one of these little Reebok 10 pound weights and it's it's a big chunk of metal and you can see it's well you guys can't see it you guys can't feel it but I can it's pretty heavy just to give you guys an idea of how heavy this weight is 
to prove that it is 10 pounds, let me try to put it where the landing gears are. This, and you can see, put it down and it actually lifts it up so you know it is pretty heavy. So yeah, uh, motor temperature, I would say it's about 110. It is getting a little warmer with the 10 pound weight, so it's about 110. I'll probably end up switching motors uh, from the RC timers. I'll probably end up using the T motors because they have a lot bigger diameter bearings, which would be better for uh, the extra weight. And also be switching out the props because these props are, you can see, a little flexible for carrying a lot of weight. I guess it would be good for like a smaller camera like a NEX5 or NEX7. But for like a bigger uh, DSLR, like a fi like a Canon 5D or a, you know just one of the bigger uh, uh, cameras, for example, a 10 pound weight, the motors do get a little bit warmer and the props are flexing a little bit. You can hear it's a little bit louder in flight. But yeah, that was a quick demonstration. Uh, you know, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty interesting to see how much this frame can actually lift. So it's pretty exciting, and the video is getting way too long. I'm probably boring you guys to death. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.